Hey folks, welcome back to another video. We're back on Sling Mountain. It's ages since I've done something on Sling Mountain. Someone tagged us on an Insta Stories and used the Sling Mountain hashtag, which I haven't seen for a while, so I thought I'd come back to it. Um, it served me well during lockdown. I saw something on the internet today that also prompted me to think about this particular video, and I have a long list of videos to do, but some, sometimes something jumps out at me, and this is one of those times. Five Minute Friday, it's gonna be less than five minutes, this one, I promise. I don't think I've ever done one less than five minutes, but this one will be. This little uh, phrase I'm about to say, I stole it off someone else years ago, I can't remember who it was, but thanks very much. It's, it's a really useful sort of memory jog when you're building a belay. And that phrase is clip and flip. Okay, so I've placed a nut on Sling Mountain. It's just looped through a sling. This is not a tutorial on how to place nuts, obviously, because I'm on Sling Mountain, so please please don't judge that. Uh, it's just a little means to an end. But let's imagine we're gonna build a belay with that nut as part of the belay. If I come up to it with my screw gate and I clip it, and then I put a sling into it or a clove hitch, whatever it might be, what things are wrong with that carabiner? Okay, the first one, it's not done up yet, is it? Okay. Sorted. I like to be in the habit of as soon as I've put a carabiner in something and I've kind of finished with it, do it up straight away. Okay. What else is wrong with it? Well, the narrow end is facing down, so if I'm putting a clove hitch in there or whatever, it's not ideal, is it, because the, the couple of strands sort of open the carabiner up. Is it gonna cause a carabiner to explode? No, it probably isn't, but is it textbook? No, could we make it better? Yes, we could. The barrel part, right? It's not gravity loaded, so on a belay, if that's tap, tap, tapping away on the rock, just some vibrations and what have you, it could come undone. Is it likely? No. Am I super stressed about it? No. But could it be better again? Yes, it could be better again, so why not make it better? And the other point is that that's gonna sit something like that when it's loaded. So the gate and the barrel are against the rock of Sling Mountain, all right? and that's not ideal again, is it? A flat bit of rock like this, is it going to you know, press on that gate and weaken it loads? No, probably not. More of a concern on an edge, but I don't like edges anyway. But is it textbook? No. Can we make it better? Yes, you get the theme of this, don't you? So what could we have done? Before we even clipped it, let's take him off a second. I've placed my nut. I think clip and flip. So I come up to the carabiner and I clip away from me. And then that's it clipped. The flipping part is just literally doing that. Sorted. So I put my clove hitch into it, and it's even easier to put the clove hitch into it with the gate facing you rather than going around the back. So that's good straight away. Got my clove hitch wherever in there. Do the carabiner up. We've now got the wide end. We've now gravity loaded the barrel, and we've got the back bar of the carabiner sitting quite nicely in this instance against the rock rather than the gate sitting against the rock. So we've just solved a few things that were any of them individually the biggest issues in the world. No, but we've made them all better and now we've got something textbook. Why is textbook important? Well, you know, we just want to do things the best we can when we're setting up a belay, don't we? Uh, make it as safe as possible, make it, make it as neat as possible, make it as easy to use as possible. And think about pictures as well, if you're, you're working as an instructor or you're teaching a friend or, you know, whatever it might be. If you show like proper textbook stuff, it just sets the standard, doesn't it? So I'm a big fan of clip and flip. I've done it with a screw gate here. Sometimes, when appropriate, we might use a snap gate or a wire gate in place of that uh, screw gate. It's even more important to have the gate away from the rock then, isn't it? Because the gate isn't locked, so it will just bend open. And again, will it unclip? No, but the carabiner, well, say no, it probably won't. But the carabiner is weaker, isn't it, with that gate open, so why not clip and flip? It's a brilliant thing. Please do fire away with any questions as always. I'm happy to answer them as best I can. Find us on Insta, find us on Facebook, any follows and likes and stuff are massively appreciated. Click that like button, smash the subscribe button, you know that's massively appreciated as well. I know I say it every time and I'm gonna keep saying it every time because I mean it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. More videos coming up very soon. Keep dancing with the